I personally think that it's my dad. I stole my dad's car. So when my car comes up missing today, I mean, it only makes sense that it's my dad behind it. Car flipping shows are undeniably one of the most prolific niches when it comes to reality TV. However, while the success of these productions isn't necessarily guaranteed, the ones which actually make it to the top of their genre are those in which lots of time, money, and dedication are invested, all to keep the show alive season after season. The latter is the case of Motor Trend's Graveyard Cars. Centered on the Oregon-based car body shop of the same name, which has gained incredible fame for making their most important mission to bring back life to the most gorgeous Mopar cars. That being said, while the show has wrapped up its latest season recently, it's only fair to ask ourselves what some of its memorable cast members, such as Alyssa Rose, have been up to since then. Have you also wondered what happened to Alyssa? Keep with us to discover it all. Once a TV show takes a break, or definitely ends, it's quite usual for all types of rumors about its cast to be spread on the internet. It's no different for Alyssa Rose from Graveyard Cars, but fortunately in her case, it was just a misunderstanding. As it happens in April 2022, two women disappeared and sadly were later found dead in Ripon, California. The misunderstanding came when it was revealed that one of the young victims was identified as Alyssa Rose. Hence, some people mistook her as Alyssa, featured in the TV show. Needless to say, our Alyssa is gladly safe and sound, and lots of good things are happening in her life right now. Although it's been a while since we last saw her on TV, Alyssa's personal life couldn't be better due to the upcoming birth of her first son in October 2022. She's already given birth to three girls, the youngest born in February 2021. Despite the good news about Alyssa's personal life, updates about her professional life are harder to get a hold of. However, it's for sure that she stays active in the automotive industry by attending events such as the Specialty Equipment Market Association, SEMA, show with the rest of the series cast. If you watched Graveyard Cars earliest season, you might remember that Alyssa married Josh Rose back in 2012, who's remembered for being one of the original cast members in the show, appearing in it as a mechanic from 2011 to 2014. Although Josh and Alyssa dated for years before marrying, the married bliss ended quite too soon. After welcoming their baby daughter Emma in 2013, they went their separate ways and Josh eventually left the show and his job in it altogether. Alyssa reportedly briefly dated martial artist Anthony Johnson before meeting her current partner, Chris Wink. While not many details about Alyssa and Wink's relationship are revealed, the couple welcomed their first daughter together named Brooklyn in 2015. Though the couple took six years to welcome their next daughter, they finally tied the knot in a private ceremony in Maui, Hawaii in celebration of their eighth anniversary in July 2021. While not much is known about Wink, except that he has a son from a previous relationship, his marriage with Alyssa seems to be blissful as they wait for the birth of their first son together in late 2022. Premiered in 2012, the crew of Graveyard Cars makes good use of its name by taking it upon themselves to resurrect just about every car which enters their shop based in Springfield, Oregon. The Graveyard Cars garage owner, Mark Worman, is often praised for bringing back to life even the most seemingly irreparable Mopar muscle cars he can find. However, there's so much more than meets the eye when it comes to the show. Here's how Graveyard Cars came to be. While some stories behind TV shows are quite simple, you should always expect great stories from a man as creative as Mark Worman. Already a widely experienced Mopar restorer, in 2009, Mark stepped up to the challenge to find a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda for a client. But due to the high prices of such a car, Mark tirelessly searched for a battered Cuda, which could be restored and so save his customers some money. Right then, rumors about a phantom Cuda entered their radar, but the vehicle was quite beaten up and looked beyond repair. However, having found one of the less than 150 units of 1971 Cudas ever made was enough of a miracle. So at that point, Mark and his client weren't going to just give up. That's when the idea of filming the restoration process came to Mark's mind, completing the self-produced project himself, and in the end, making it a pilot. Regarding the name Graveyard Cars, the idea came to Mark due to his love of horror movies. As he said in an interview with Rose Marie Macario, those were the inspiration for bringing dead cars back to life from the grave, much like the old black and white film Night of the Living Dead from 1968. He confessed, with that cleared up, 
it makes much more sense as to why he named his crew the Ghouls. Unsurprisingly, the dream of dedicating his life to cars was something that Mark Warman envisioned even in his early years. Born in Eugene, Mark started saving to buy his own car when he was only 14 years old, making money from delivering papers to flipping burgers while still attending school. Just days away from his 16th birthday, he bought an orange 1970 Dodge Charger, starting what became a decades-long passion for Mopars, as he affirmed in an interview with Rosemarie Macario in 2016. The fact that he and his cousin, who owned a Barracuda, were the only teens to own a non-modern vehicle in their town didn't bother him in the least. Our cars were the oddballs, a lot like us, and we were different, and the Mopars were too, so it was a good match. While the road was surely hard and tough, Mark was always supported by the person whom he admired the most, his mother, Ruby Jane. She saw something in me that maybe I didn't even see at the time and encouraged me every day to do right and never quit anything, he said in an interview with J.P. Emerson. In the end, it was the right choice to take his mother's advice. While things fortunately seem to be going great for Alyssa Rose, here's also an update on the whereabouts of the rest of Graveyard Cars cast. Even if the main man in Graveyard Cars is definitely Mark Werman, there's no denying that the show wouldn't be the same without Royal Yoakum. Everyone who's ever watched the show knows he's a man of many talents, bringing more than just mechanics to the table with his skills in carpentry and painting. Regarding his current life, it's important to point out how much Royal protects his privacy. He doesn't have an Instagram account, while his official Facebook page hasn't been updated since 2017 and his personal account on set platform is barely updated as well. However, the most important event of his life in recent years was tying the knot with his longtime girlfriend, Rhonda Gardner-Wilson, in November 2020. Other than that, nowadays Royal is apparently still actively working for Mark, who needless to say appreciates his best friend quite a lot, as they've known each other since their teens. Despite his past bond with Alyssa Rose and being a former reality TV star, there aren't a lot of things to say when it comes to Josh Rose. Following his exit from Graveyard Cars and separation from Melissa, Josh took a step away from public life, even deleting his social media accounts. Regardless of his divorce from Melissa, online reports point out the reason he left his spot in Graveyard Cars had to do with the apparently insufficient salary he was getting from it. These are, of course, nothing but rumors, but given how mysterious Josh's life is nowadays, no one has a way to know what he's really up to now. If you watched the earliest Graveyard car season, you surely remember the car builder Darren Kirkpatrick. Despite being one of the original cast members, Darren's presence in Graveyard Cars created mixed opinions in the audience due to his intervention in some of the dramas which arise in the shop on top of his not-so-fast way of approaching the projects he was given. Back in the fifth season, Darren was one of the cast members left out of the show with the intention of making Graveyard Cars more focused on the cars. That being said, whether you like Darren in the show or not, it's great to know that nowadays he's doing well, although not much is known about his current professional life or where he lives. According to his barely updated Facebook page, Darren seems to have a great time going on trips with his family. That's enough for us to know. There's unfortunately not a lot to say about Holly Chedester these days. The most loyal audience of Graveyard Cars surely remembers her brief appearances in the show's second and third seasons, but when the fourth one premiered in late 2014, she was nowhere to be seen and never returned afterwards. Sadly, Holly hasn't updated her official Facebook page since 2015, and her Instagram is private, successfully erasing any trace of her life online in the same fashion that some of her former co-stars have also done. After four seasons on air, in late 2015, the fifth season of Graveyard Cars surprised its audience by completely revamping its concept. Not only was the show located in a different garage, but several changes to the cast were made, including the introduction of technician Dave Ray. As an expert assembler and mechanic, Dave added to the show the professional factor it was allegedly lacking in the previous seasons. His past as a longtime fan of the show was also one of the reasons he got along very well with the rest of the cast. However, while it's unfortunate that Dave didn't even last a season in the show, life had a lot of good things waiting for him. In 2018, he founded DB Restorations LLC, a business specialized in Mopars from the late 1960s to the early 1970s. His shop is apparently thriving and has taken him to appear in public car events and exhibitions, 
and though not much is known about his personal life, it's great to see a former Graveyard Car star doing so well in life. Introduced back in the fifth season, Will Scott was one of the then newest additions to Graveyard Cars when the show went through its revamping. However, very few people knew that Will was actually part of the team from the start of the show, even if the audience didn't know him. A self-proclaimed number one painter, it's undeniable that Will was the perfect addition to the Graveyard Cars team and brought a lot of interesting body paint concepts to it. Nowadays, Will continues working for Mike, and even better, his most dedicated fans can get a hold of his whereabouts on his very active Facebook page. As seen in the 15th Graveyard Car season premiered in early 2022, Mark Worman is still as active and successful as ever, though that's only expected from a man as dedicated to his work as Mark is. It's surprising to find out that he's also pursuing other projects on the side. In 2021, he and his daughter Alyssa started a mini online series on YouTube entitled Driving Miss Crazy which, in her words, serves to give their audience a more intimate look at the cars we restore on the show, though its second episode was never premiered. That being said, for years, Mark and his pal, Cousin Doogie, have continually promoted 14th Street Wheels, an online series with an educational focus on cars and building. Although for the longest time, the show was more of a hobby project, in August 2022, it was announced that the series had been picked up by a major network. While no further details about the future of 14th Street Wills are known yet, we're impatient to see the many good things awaiting for Mark in the near future. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.